Nominations for the 55th annual NAACP Image Awards are being revealed today, and we get to share with you some exclusive information. The awards will air on March 16th on CBS and BET, which are both part of Paramount Global. And one of the movies that there's a lot of buzz about, it's The Color, Color Purple. Purple. <laughs> I know my sister somewhere in the world. Someday we're gonna meet again. Keep your head held high, just like Mom taught us. It's time I be free from you and then turn to creation. I'd die before I let that happen. Good. That's just a going away present I've been needing. Oh! <laughs> so for more on the Image Awards, we are joined by NAACP President and CEO Derek Johnson and the actor who played a young Sealy in The yeah. Color Purple, uh, Felicia Pearl and Posse. Thank you so much Welcome for both. being here. <laughs> we get to talk to him, you know, a few yeah. times. Yeah, so usually right. you're kind of at home, you know, so it's really nice Serious to have you in the flesh and blood. Time, and congratulations yeah. to you. Um, the Thank Color you. Purple mm -hmm. is, I mean, people just it's the movie is fantastic people are gushing about it it's just so congratulations ride this joy yeah. you have some exclusive well, stuff to tell us about some nominations so i am pleased that felicia's with us because she's been nominated as outstanding breakthrough artist yes, yes girl. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations! Oh my God! So you can tell she had no she had idea no that was coming. She had no idea. Your facial expression, your lips were like quivering. You were like, I, know. I feel like my face is shaking. That? Yes, you're blushing. Oh you're my like, gosh! It, how does it wow. feel? I mean, uh, I'm like speechless. It means mm -hmm. so much to be recognized by my community. You know, I'm like, I went to predominantly white institutions, and so for like my people to see my work. Oh, and to be able to be part of this legacy, it means so much. Oh, oh my gosh, what do I think? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'll, teach you. I'll teach you two exclusively. That's, right, right, right. That's great. Oh my gosh. So, um, give us a sense, uh, Felicia, of your journey. We were talking mm -hmm. a little bit backstage mm -hmm. about your journey to this role. I mean, you've done a lot. You've been, you, you're an actress, but you've also, you're a writer. You've done a lot of things in, 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 in entertainment. And I just want to get a sense of like how you got to play young Seeley. Yeah, well, for me, it always kind of starts with storytelling. I think, you know, especially with film and television, it's a way into another person's life and narrative that you wouldn't necessarily experience yourself. Um, and when it came to Color Purple, I studied musical theater in college, and it was just something that we studied as like part of music theater history. It was always told to me, like, you could be in the Color Purple, which is like, translation, you're black, do that show. <laughs> and so I was like, okay. Um, and then, you know, the pandemic hit, and I was doing The Lion King at the time, and it just was like an indication to me of, you know, live theater wasn't going to happen, and I thought, maybe this is an opportunity to step into something bigger. And, you know, I heard the movie was happening, and I've told the story. I was in the Democratic Republic of Congo bearing my grandmother, and I wow. feel like I heard her voice speak to me mm. and say, just Google the Color Purple auditions. Truly. And I was like, okay, my one gig of data I had there in Africa on like a flip phone, <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'll Google it, and I saw it. And then submitted, my agents came in and helped me out. And after a couple of rounds, I was first told no, but I like wrote down, I believed, I was like, I know I'm meant to tell this story. I feel wow. like, it, cause I feel like I was telling my grandmother's story mm. through young Seely. And you know, I'm really someone, I love like joy and fun. And I love that I was able to portray that on screen for I think a story sometimes gets bogged down in the trauma of it, but mm -hmm. this story is really about the empowerment. So it really was important to me to be able to portray that on screen for not only only generations to come but to people that I look up to to like kind of see me and think of you know a youthful spirit just means yeah. the world to me and so that's kind of how it just felt like all the pieces fit for me to be here today wow. what a great story yeah. and it's yeah. also a reminder that when something is for you don't take no for an that's answer right. it will you not get it you know? yeah. yes. it will not pass you by. I really don't take no you know yeah. there are emails like can you ask them again can you just ask them again to see me it exactly. just I just feel like I'm supposed to do it I love wow that's it. fantastic um uh, all right, so first up is Outstanding Actress in a Motion Picture, Anjanu Ellis Taylor for Origin, Fantasia Barino, The Color Purple, Halle Bailey for The Little Mermaid, Tiana Taylor, A Thousand and One, and Yara Shahidi for Sitting in Bars with Kate. This mm, is an incredible yeah. list. Yeah, and what a range yes. of stories and being told. Ages is that and nice? Different, yes, I love it, that. It, it, is, it is a representation of the talent we have in our community, and that's why the Image Awards are so important. Yeah. We must identify 
the talent, recognize the talent, and celebrate that talent mm -hmm. because we have dynamic and amazing actors and actresses and beautiful stories to tell. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk about outstanding motion picture. Let's see that. All right, here are the nominations. American Fiction, which is a wonderful, wonderful movie. Origin, oh my gosh, I'm so happy for Ava DuVernay. Rustin, The Color Purple, and They Cloned Tyrone. I wow. love these. I'm so happy that Origin and Rustin are getting the recognition that they deserve because those are incredible movies. These are all great movies, yeah. Yeah. but I sort of feel like that those movies have yeah. sort of not been on the okay. award the, circuit. From the second you saw American Fiction, you came in here and you were like, you have to see yes, this movie. Yes, American yeah, Fiction's yeah. awesome. <laughs> you know, Byron Russian is a story that should have been told decades ago. You know, he was one of the most prolific, uh, intellectuals doing the civil rights movement. Mm -hmm. Because of him, A. Philip Randolph, and Ella Baker, those are understood stories. We talk about MLK, but we don't talk about the people who really made some stuff happen mm. in a very profound way. So I'm glad they're doing that. Um, Origin, the book cast, really talk about the social construct so of race, mm -hmm. not Excellent only in this book. country, but a, around the globe, mm -hmm. and how race is a tool that's being used to control people and dictate power. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad those mm -hmm. stories are being nominated. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk about uh, the nominations for uh, Best Actor. Let's see those. Here we go. Outstanding Actor in a Motion Picture, Coleman Domingo Rustin, yes. Denzel Washington, The Equalizer 3, Jamie Foxx, The Burial, Jeffrey Wright, American Fiction, and John Boyega, They Cloned Tyrone. These are all incredible actors. Coleman Domingo is nominated for an Oscar, which yeah. is great, mm -hmm. but I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm Jeffrey Wright. I'm, I have a soft spot for Jeffrey Wright because <laughs> I love that movie, American Fiction, and I think he's, he's he, Jeffrey Wright is, uh, you can tell me, Felicia, if I'm wrong, he's an actor's actor. Yes. I mean, like, he can do anything. Mm -hmm. Just yes. like Denzel, can do Shakespeare, can mm. do, you know, he played, um, one of his first roles is he played uh, uh, Basquiat in a movie. Mm -hmm. And, like, mm -hmm. try to do that, mm -hmm. you know? Like, he's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was familiar with him through The Hunger Games. Like, oh, right. the range is crazy. And then to go back and see the collection of work is just... Yeah. Outstanding and a DMV native, so you know, I stand my people. Yes, yes. And finally, Entertainer of the Year. Let's see those. Jeez, how do you even pick? I know. Oh my god, because everyone know. does everything. Coleman Domingo, Fantasia Barino, yes. Halle Bailey, Kiki Palmer, and Usher. I mean, how do you? I don't know. <laughs> Tell me about this list here. Usher was the buzz all last year. Everyone was mm -hmm. rushing out to Las, to Las Vegas, Vegas to yeah. see the show. Coleman versatility. I mean, we just talked about you know, Jeffrey Wright, but the fact that Coleman went from Rushton to Color Purple, mm. that versatility jumps off the page. We have an amazing list of talent in the African-American community that's representing what who we are as a community. We're dynamic, we're diverse, and we're talented. And so I'm so proud that for the 55th year, the Image Awards is lifting up the quality of actors in storytelling in our community. Mm -hmm. And finally, Felicia, before we go, I mean, uh, Color Purple, sadly, we've, we've feel that it was left off the list yeah. for Best Picture and the Oscars, but what's it like to see it nominated here? I think the recognition coming from people that look like you from your own is so important, and I think it's especially, especially you have Fantasia and Hallie on there, two women that come from the music world, both stepping into their first feature films yes. and be recognized in this way. It just goes to show sometimes when you scratch the surface of an itch that you have or a desire, like you can really open so many doors for yourself. And for especially Fantasia, who's been around for my childhood and on, like she's just like stepping into something and such greatness. And then of course Hallie, just like the sky is the limit for her, and it's just gonna be so exciting to yeah. watch these two soar. And I just and love for them. You. I was gonna say and for you, you Felicia. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. Derek Johnson and Felicia Prompassi, thank you both for being here. Thank you for making the announcement here on CBS News. We yeah. so appreciate it. Well, can I say televised live on CBS BT yeah. March yes. 16th? And voting is open today. Go to NACPImageAwards.com and you can vote on any of the individuals. Anybody can vote. vote. Anybody can vote. Again, that. NACPImageAwards.net, not dot com. Okay. Anyone can vote. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see.